Let it go. Peace and blessings, everyone. Peace and blessings. I trust that you all are well. Rested. At peace. And uh, working to maintain your health. Working to maintain your wellness. That we may offer you a bit of a respite in these times in ways that afford us the opportunity to maintain our health, to use the tools that we have been given to increase the likelihood that we remain well. I'm grateful for your time, for your participation in this, for your working with me as we grow together in this practice. So with that, want to be able to, as usual, we start off, we want to set the tone for the day. This is our last session in August of 2020. If you have an opportunity, prep yourself. We will be starting the September session on the Thursday. September session will start on Thursday, the 3rd of September. Just want to make sure that everybody's grasping that. So we won't have a session on Tuesday, the 1st. We will have a session on the 3rd. So we're going to pick up September on the 3rd. And it runs until the 29th every you know, Tuesday and Thursday thereafter. So we want to make sure that we're able to keep that up. What I endeavor to do, as I know folks also do have YouTube, is what I'll do because we're committed to keeping a particular path and process. So what I plan to do is a little earlier in the day, I will post the Tuesday session. Just wanna get some of this out of the way. So it won't be live, but I'll post it to the YouTube so folks have a chance to get at it, all right? And that way we'll be able to keep it going rather than have you come back to today's session. All right. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into some SAR stance after we bow to begin. And then we'll get into the Qigong. We're gonna do ward off right and left exercises. Make sure that we strengthen the legs and thighs. We're gonna do the grass of bird's tail exercise. And then we're gonna go to grass of bird's tail and we're gonna do it repetitively because what I'd like to do is to when we start on the next session, I want y'all to really have worked at it and make sure that you're at 10 minutes of horse stance, SAR stance, 10 minutes of a SAR stance, consistent, reliably 10 minutes, because we're gonna begin the series where we actually start moving the body, taking steps. And so if you're not at about 10 minutes of a SAR stance, you're not gonna be able to comfortably move and by move, I don't just mean lift and move the feet, but I also mean shift the weight and turn the waist. All of these things are enhanced and benefited by you learning more effectively how to tuck your bottom, how to be in a SAR stance, age those things all together. It's not just a stance, it has much more to it. Additionally, we'll then get into the practice of the form, We'll do our alternate nostril breathing exercise. And then we'll get to our wisdom from the sages of the ages. And then we'll close. All right, thank y'all so much. Appreciate everyone's presence. We're here, I'm here. Not only are we physically in place, but we are present, which means Good morning, I'm Amoke, so we get to speak. How are you today? Good morning, Amoke. I'm here in South Los Angeles. Where are you? I'm in Austin. Okay, Texas. Mm -hmm. All right. I have family in Texas. All right, sorry, everybody. Had a little networking right. issue. My apologies. I'm glad to see everybody's here. Good morning. We were able to get it going. I appreciate it. People letting Amoke in the room. K 
keeping it going. <laughs> so I'm um, in a space where it's supposed to be uh, an improvement using technology. Uh, it, 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 while it's a little faster, I haven't had the, whole, the, the improvement that I was looking for. I'm not going to give that company any shine. I'm just say that monopolies are not in the best interests of the people. So let's get ready. And remember, ideally, we want to eat at least an hour and a half before class. We want to drink about a half hour before class. The main reason we want to do that is we don't want the food sitting in our stomach while we are doing it because that produces gas. And it can be an uncomfortable feeling while you're doing class because it'll start to weigh. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's ideally, ideally. And it can have some unique, uh, unique situations on the body. So again, that's one of the reasons why, you know, we got the fall equinox fast coming up. So we can talk, I'm going to talk more about that, but many of the bodies cries for hunger. Andrew, I missed, I missed a little of what you were saying. <laughs> but okay. I, eat, I eat before like every single class. I know, I, I know, I know. I really have trouble eating any earlier and I like need to eat. Otherwise I'm starving the whole time. So I, I just, I'm that, around that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do. We'll work it out. I'll, I'll talk to you about ways to, to manage that. That would be awesome. Thank you. I, I really appreciated you offering to talk more also. Sure. Um, so, yeah. All right. So we got everybody here that needs to be here. We want to get moving so that we can maximize the signal. Because <laughs> until I get an alternate broadcast location, which is going to be interesting. So, you know, I, I, uh, ultimately, what I'm going to need to do is probably buy a, uh, my own Ethernet switch, gigabit Ethernet switch. So uh, not looking forward to that, but that's what it looks like is going to have to happen. All right. So thank you all much. And, you know, appreciate our, uh, so those of you at home, I'll be checking this out on YouTube. You know, this is not necessarily designed to be smooth and completely polished, although it may sometimes appear that way. We're in the process of growing and improving our online offering. And as it comes forward, you know, we'll have more than likely as we roll into September, October, we'll have an opportunity to refine some of the things in terms of lighting and sound you know, that will bring it to a more professional quality. But again, this is offered as a community service. So it's for those that can afford to benefit us, you know, check out our PayPal and contribute there. For those that are not able, this is also geared towards, as we know many people are out of work, are in between things, are also having challenges physically, emotionally, being in shelter in place, managing through things like the earthquakes, managing through things like the hurricane that's coming through. So we wanna be able to create a space where our arts are accessible to everyone. So we ask that you be honest and share the reciprocity at whatever level you may be able to do so. The goal of this session and these sessions is to ensure that people have access to the healing tools and arts. Thank you so much for your participation and for rolling with us through some of the little bumps and hiccups that we have along the way. Let's get to it. All right. Wuchi position. Heels together from a 90 degree angle, knees unlocked, bottom tucked. And we say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. All right, pyramid hands. You're gonna shift all the way to the right leg. You're gonna step left, 
Heel first. Balance the weight between the legs. Sit down, tuck your butt. Two breaths. Open the hands into a star stance position. You want to see the legs as the roots of a tree extending down into the earth. You want to see the torso as the tree trunk. You want to see your arms as the branches. You want to see your hands as the leaves. They're light and easy. You want to see your head balanced on top of the spinal column. Golden thread anchoring it to the heavens. We want to go for 16 breaths. Let us begin. Using the bellows breathing.
Get a little deeper, four breaths. Pyramid hands. Shift the weight to your right. Slide left foot in, Wuchi position, two breaths. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Nice work. Uchi position, pyramid hands. Shift the weight right, stepping left, heel first, little wide in shoulders width. Balance the weight. Two breaths. Open the golden ball, see a ball of golden white light in the palm of each hand for two breaths. Rotate the palms into oneness for two breaths. Into the turtle, chin down. Out to the drawbridge. Two breaths. Point the hand between the legs for two breaths. Into oneness. Two breaths. Rabbit through the shoot. And into oneness. Two breaths. Elbows.
in the oneness. Right hand on top of the left hand, palms up, thumbs touching. Rotate the left hand on top, two breaths. Palms facing each other, you want to see a ball of golden white light like the sun in between the palms. Four breaths. into oneness. Into the turtle chin now, out to the drawbridge. Two breaths. Point the hands between the legs for two breaths. Enter oneness. Two breaths. Pyramid hands. Shift the weight to the right, slide the left into Wuchi position. Two breaths. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Bottom tucked. Sinking down, exhale as we begin the gathering. Three more. Two more. One more. Last one. Check it out. Parallel shoulders with fingers interlaced, palms out, heart level. We're going to raise the hands to the heavens. We do this eight times, rising up onto the balls of the feet. We begin. Using the bellows breathing. Breathe. 
breathing in on the way up and out on the way down. down 90 degrees 90 degrees palms facing the head two breaths palms facing straight ahead two breaths Let the hands come down and we go on to swinging arms. Swing to the stop. All right, let's sink down into opening the chest five times. And shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Sinking down as you exhale. Sun rises over the mountain and sunsets.
Remember to do your bellows breathing. All right, we're going to begin ward off to the right and left four breaths. Here we go. Two times. Take it out. Nice work. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Exhale as you sink down. Sun rises. Four breaths to grasp the bird's tail.
stepping back. Let's take it out. All right, here we go. All the way through. Sinking down as you exhale. Let's flow through it. Nice and fluid. Again, let that hand fall with control. Don't just let it flop down, okay? Let it come down, okay? You control it. Stepping back. Again, sinking down, sun rises. Again. Again. back again feel the body feel the weight shifting let's hold here for four breaths Feel where your body is. Is the weight distribution correct? Is the bottom tucked? Are the shoulders relaxed? Are the arms relaxed? I don't want to hear about you being tired. I don't want to hear that you're out of breath. We're breathing now. Stepping back. This is Tai Chi Chuan again. You should be better when you're tired. You should be better when you're exhausted even. There's no impediment to the flow. This is what we train for. Again. Getting amped up, y'all. Forgive me for speeding up the pace. Well, the good part of that is it gets to be your favorite word. Again, sinking down. Hold it here for four breaths. All right, step back, sun rises, sun sets two times. One more time. Shake it out. All right, let's have a seat. Nice, comfortable spot. I'm gonna get our breathing exercise in. 
All right. So what I want you to do is take your left hand, thumb and index finger, palm up, resting on the knee. Take your right hand, thumb against the right nostril, middle index finger in the center of the forehead. Sitting tall, breathing in, out, in, out, in, out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. And release. Switching hands, no breath. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Release. Place the hands, palms down on the knees. Close your eyes. We're going to do a relaxation meditation. I want you to breathe through the nostrils only. Eyes are relaxed, body is relaxed. With each breath, I want you to breathe into the belly. Breathe in such a way that it comes down, fills the lungs, pass the lungs down into the cauldron. Full breath, see the breaths go there. Now what I want you to do is while you're breathing is to see those breaths travel all the way down to the belly and that they form a light, a flame. And with each passing breath, that flame gets bigger. And so now it starts off as a candlelight, a lamplight. As it expands, becomes a roaring fire in the belly. Body's relaxed, that roaring fire, that light is the light of life that you are able to bring and through the power of our practice, we can stoke that into a roaring fire, heating the cauldron. Now what I want you to do is I want you to see your breath go all the way down to the soles of your feet or wherever your body is touching the ground. And as you inhale, I want you to feel the healing white light, white golden light energy of the healing earth rise up through the body through the soles of the feet, through all the metatarsals and tendons and ligaments, through the ankle and the Achilles tendon and up the shin, up the calf and through the knees, passing the knees on up into the quadriceps and the hamstrings and the groin, filling the reproductive organs, going through the waist and hips, Centering in the core of the body and the abdomen where this healing golden white light of the earth like the sun merges with this roaring fire and becomes pure light. And now while it is this pure light, it continues to grow and expand and it fills the colon, the intestines, the liver, the kidney, the spleen, the pancreas, the gallbladder. It rises, the adrenal glands, the lungs, filling them, filling the spinal cord as it rises, coming on up to the shoulders and branching out across the clavicle or through <laughs> the shoulders, the shoulder blades, down the shoulders through the bicep and tricep, on through the elbows, filling this body with light down through the forearms, through the wrists, through the metacarpals, on into the digits, the fingers and the thumbs all filled with this healing white light as we keep breathing. And as it continues to expand, it fills the neck, 
It fills the spine. It rises up through the chin, curling up the back of the head, passing the mouth and the ears and the nose, passing the eyes, rising past the forehead, reaching the crown and coming and closing on the crown. So the entire inner aspect of the body from head to toe is filled with light, this healing golden white light of the body. And now this light expands and engulfs the body. And you are now at peace, protected by the healing golden white light of the earth and sun. Inside this golden white egg, this golden white orb is you. You are safe, you are protected. You are in a place where there is healing, where there is space for you to expand. And now what I want you to see is a sky blue pyramid. A pyramid, or as we call it a merkut, is a symbol of timelessness, symbol of longevity, symbol of perfection as it is possible here on earth, a symbol of preservation. And you look deep within this sky blue pyramid and there you see that golden white orb that contains your body. And you look within the golden white orb and there is you. And you look closer and on the center of your forehead, there is an ankh, a symbol of life on your forehead. See it there as you breathe. Recognize that life eternal, is connected to each breath as we breathe, as we are protected in this orb, as we breathe these full, safe, tension-free breaths, we know that we have this opportunity to relax and breathe in safe, protected space, guided by our ancestors and the sacred geometry. So we see this and we know that we are afloat and at peace, relaxed. And now, even though we are timeless, even though we move with the cycles, as beautiful as this is, we are going to return the Merkut, the sky blue pyramid, we're going to return it to the ancestors. And now it is us and our Golden white orb, still safe, still protected. As we breathe, and we then take this orb back and absorb it inside our bodies. So now our body is filled with this light. And now we allow the light to come down from the crown to the front of the face. The light is emptying the body, coming down the face, the chin, down the neck, into the belly and there at the belly it separates and returns the fire to the fire and the light to the light and it continues coming down the front of the body down the quadriceps down the knees down the shin down the big toe and out and returning itself to the earth the roaring fire in the belly returns itself to the candlelight knowing that any time that we need the light, that we need the fire, we merely call upon it. So as we breathe these relaxing breaths, we slowly open our eyes, we blink rapidly as our eyes adjust to this earthly light, slowing down the blink rate as the eyes are able to take in what we see, and allow chime to aid us in our return. And so now the body should be thoroughly energized and thoroughly relaxed. The mind should be clear. The breath should be at ease. And any tension that you may have brought with you today 
is not with you now. And so we move to the wisdom from the sages of the ages, knowing that our nasal passages have been cleared. We have moved the energy, stagnant though it may have been, may have been locked in some blockages somewhere in our body, we have moved it. So we're here at wisdom from the sages of the ages, and we go and we say to this one, okay, here it is. Report the thing that you were commissioned to report without error. Give your advice in the high council. If you are fluent in your speech, it will not be hard for you to report. Nor will anyone say of you, who are they to know this? As to the authorities, their affairs will fail if they punish you for speaking the truth. They should be silent upon hearing the report that you have rendered as you have been told. If you are one who leads, one whose authority reaches widely, then you should do perfect things, those which posterity will remember. Don't listen to the words of flatterers or to words that puff you up with pride and vanity. And with that, we're done. That is the wisdom from the sages of the ages coming from the teachings of Pataha Tem. And today I would be remiss without acknowledging the solidarity of many athletes who are at great risk to their personal finances, particularly some that aren't paid as much, decided to boycott, decided not to participate in events in solidarity and in work with the passing of Jacob Blake, and I believe it's Taylor Pellerfin, Eliza McLean, and so many others. The names go on and on, and we carry so many of them within our bodies. We carry so many of them within our memories. So we use this work to be able to relieve the body of that carrying so that we may do the good hard work of transforming the places that we live. I don't come into this work lightly, and I want you all to know that wherever you are, it is your right to protest. But in these times, it is also your right to leave after the protest, to be at the protests safely, which means that if you engage, use the tools that you've been given here to maintain your personal safety and the safety of your loved ones. Because we know that there are those that would like to change your health status. And I would like for you to remain healthy. And with that, I am clear. Thank you. And so we will bow out and say to all the African, Indian, Asian, Chinese, Native American, and Pacific Islander masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher, giving honor, respect, and homage to the eternal witnesses the sky, the earth, and the ancestors, we say Ashe, and I say unto you, Hatapu, peace and blessings, Ankh Ujjah, Seneb, life, health, and strength, Hatapu. <laughs>